Everybody more or less know about the benefits of prenatal healthcare and the positive impact that it has on the pregnancy and the outcome of pregnancy, right? However, there is still a lot of work to be done, and particularly nowadays with all the advantage of technical advantage that we have in computer vision, medical images, so we have a lot of tools to, we can use in order to make this clinical workflow uh, better or more efficient. So uh, right now, the current clinical workflow that is used in you know daily basis every in every hospital in most places around the world are using uh, 2D ultrasound, and the workflow which has been unchanged for decades uh, is far from being optimal because it depends on the skills of the sonographer that has to manually look for the optimal plane, predefined planes in the fetal anatomy in order to make take measurements manually compared with reference uh, charts, tables, but to make sure that for that specific patient, the measurements are within the healthy ranges, right? So as you can imagine, this is pretty subjective, prone to error, etc. So we think as part of this project that uh, we want to explore the potential of 3D ultrasound to improve this workflow, making everything more objective and uh, quantitative. So, in previous works, we presented in ISB, EMBC, and other many works uh, conferences around the world. We presented different techniques uh, based on 3D ultrasound, and we proved how these new biometrics extracted directly, directly from 3D ultrasound biometrics, but represent more accurately the anatomy of the fetus, have a higher uh, sensitivity and specificity in order to identify potential malformations. Not everybody has access to a 3D ultrasound probe, particularly in uh, you know in developing countries or in remote areas. And here in Mikai, one of the most important conferences in medical imaging, we presented a new network, a deep convolutional network, in particular a conditional variational encoder that allow us, using just simple non-aligned uh, 2D ultrasound images that are directly, directly sorry, um, acquired in the clinical workflow, to convert those simple 2D images into a whole 3D reconstruction of the fetal scalp. So at the core of our new architecture we presented here, there is a conditional variational autoencoder. So essentially it's an autoencoder with a twist, with a Bayesian twist. Uh, in particular, this new conditional variational autoencoder is a generative network that allows us to reconstruct whatever we have at the input, in this case a 3D uh, fetal skull, conditioned by certain uh, predictive va variables, which are the three standard planes of uh, acquired normally in a clinical workflow right now. So uh, this new network creates a latent space with a predefined, well-known distribution, which of course the obvious choice is the Gaussian uh, distribution because it's the simplest one. So because we know we have full control over the distribution, we can convert, we can turn this uh, convolutional network into a generator. So that allows us to generate a whole set of samples, different uh, output, different skulls that are you know, representing the whole population of fetus. And this gener generative uh, process is, of course, conditioned by the three standard planes that are, as I said before, acquiring the clinical uh, workflow every day. So another important twist that we gave to this new network is the possibility to deal with different scenarios. Because, you know, normally here in, the, in this side of the, of the problem, working playing with computers, we feature, we draw an hypothetical utopian scenario where we have access to all the images, every image is high quality, etc., etc. However, when we talk with our clinicians, you know, we have to face reality. The truth is that we not always have access to the three standard planes we're using, the axial, the sagittal, and the coronal. So we decided to make uh, this architecture more flexible, and we presented a hierarchical uh, conditional variational autoencoder. Essentially, what this new uh, architecture does is to encode into the latent space, which is 64 dimensions, to encode this reality, in particular, this hierarchy in this uh, standard planes we normally use. The hierarchy is uh, defined by the availability of these views. For instance, we always have the axial view because it's the basis for the current 2D biometrics. Most of the time, we have access to the sagittal view, which allows the clinicians to extract some biometrics that correlate with some uh, genetic deformations. And sometimes, we have access to the coronal plane, which is part of a more dedicated, specific uh, screening process of the of the brain of the fetus.
So if we encoded, like I said before, this hierarchy in this or in the availability of this view directly into our latent space, but a cascade of native spaces. Mm. So our network performs better than any state-of-the-art network that trying to reconstruct 3D structures from 2D views. And even more, we don't have to retrain the network over and over again for every specific scenario because it's flexible enough to deal with any, any, any situation.